welcome to the introduction of Chapter 5 in AP Human Geography, Languages. This is going to be a pretty brief lecture video. I just really want to encourage you to open up your books and take a look and start reading. This is something that is going to touch on a lot of things in our personal lives as far as our history of our own uh, languages that we speak at home, what languages we study at school from where we are born and the dialects and the accents that we have uh, to learning a lot about the history of languages as well, right? Language is an important part of culture. So let's get started on this introduction to languages. So of course language is an important part of culture. It's part of people's value and tangible artifacts. So in chapter four, we introduced the ideas of folk and popular culture, and we talked about material objects of culture. In chapters five, six, and seven, we're going to be discussing the traits that distinguish cultural values. In chapter five, languages. Chapter six will be about religion. And chapter seven will be about ethnicity. So we need to start with language because language is essential because it's how we communicate. And language is carried by people. And this, this is really interesting. I'm super excited to get started. So what I really want you to do today is to visit some fun websites. And I'm going to take you through these websites. And if you're in my class, you'll see the links under important links on your page. So the first is a very short overview of the grammar history of the English language. And I'm sure taking English classes, you have learned a lot about the history. We say Shakespeare because so many words come into the English language from the writings of Shakespeare. But as interesting as that is, it's really a lot more fun to take quizzes about things that we say. We have a lot of accents and dialects and colloquialisms. A colloquialism is um, it's best to explain it, is a word or a phrase that has a meaning in a certain area, but it can vary by different areas. Uh, so the first fun link is this Accent Browse Atlas, and on here you can click different regions of the world and then hone into certain areas, and you will have the reader reading um, the same sentences but in English, but with different accents. So I encourage you to start by checking out different parts of the United States and then go around the world and click in different countries and regions. I think you'll find it really fun and you'll be able to recognize some of the accents that we talk about. Um, and as far as dialects, I have two other quizzes and they overlap a little bit, but they're kind of fun. One is, are you a rebel or a Yankee from the alphadictionary.com? Um, and then what kind of English do you speak from a blogthings.com? And these are just homemade by people. There's lots of ads. It's kind of messy looking, but I think they're fun. They're short. And I encourage all of you in my classes, when you get a chance to go through these, to tune into office hours so we can talk about some of the things that we learned. In the next lesson, we'll actually get into talking about where folk languages are distributed and we'll spend some time defining languages and like literary traditions and official languages and lingua franca. But I really want you to use this time to just explore a little bit, bring in what you know. Some of you are uh, you know, native speakers in different languages or you speak other languages at home or you might have a parent that speaks a different language. We can bring in a lot of what we already know in the introduction of our chapter before we get into what we might not know. All right. So real quick, I just want to show you what these websites look like so you can be sure you're in the right place. This is the website where you can click on different regions and explore accents. So I clicked here and there's all these little flags that I can click on that will bring up all kinds of neat stuff for me. Click on another one here. Click on a flag to see a representative speaker. And then up here you'll have a little play button. This is the same paragraph that will be read all over again. You click it. Please call Stella. Ask her to bring these things with her from the store. And at first you won't notice a ton of differences, but spend some time in the United States and then go around the world. That's a lot of fun. 
And then these little blog quizzes here. This is the Alpha Dictionary one. Uh, how do you pronounce different words? And they're going to give you a little bit of an outcome. And there's only 20 questions, and it's pretty fun. And then what kind of English, American English, do you speak? And again, this one, they give you some choices. And some of the questions overlap, and they'll give you some interesting outcomes. And then the reading I want you to do is the history of English. And this is really brief, talking about five major events that shaped the history of English. All right. So I hope you have a lot of fun going through and introducing yourself to the concept of languages. This is Social Studies with Mrs. Johns.